Yeah, hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Fuji. It's Blitz with me, Fuji. Hello, Privyet. If you look into the the news at the moment, you'll see this M60 lockboxes. <laughs> Here we go again. So from February the sixth to February the twentieth, you will have the chance to get an M60 lockbox. Ooh. But to open that box, you need a key. Mm, we'll get to that in a moment. You can see it all here, these bits and bobs. Now, they're only available to players with a tier five or higher researchable vehicle in their garage. That's important because a lot of people complain that people haven't got the tanks. Now, the M60 lockbox includes four guaranteed rewards or the M60 itself with a 3%, that's right, 3% drop chance. So if you get the vehicle, which is a 3% drop chance, you will get a garage slot. And that's about it. You can also get certificates for the M60, the Caliban, the T77, the Object 274A, or the Rumpanzer, and a few other bits and bobs. So is this tank worth it? That is the ultimate question. This is what we're going to be looking at. Now let's jump back into the store. Let's see how much these keys cost. So if we go down here, we've got them here. To get the lock boxes, it's going to cost you somewhere in the region of three pounds or three and a bit euros or three and a half dollars or something along those lines. To get a one key, it's going to cost you a thousand gold. Thing is, the M60 is a very, very old premium tank in tier 10. And I'll be honest with you, I am not a big fan of lock boxes, especially when those lock boxes are only a three percent drop chance look at the end of the day i'm not telling you how to spend your hard-earned cash that's completely and utterly totally your call yeah okay you're gonna get parts you know the certificates to get the damn tank but the fact of the matter is this this is a pretty old tank okay and more importantly it ain't too dissimilar to what you've already got in the game in the tech tree and we'll get into that because we're gonna have a look at a couple of replays at the m60 now, don't get me wrong, the M60 itself is a lovely tank. I mean, it's a fantastic tank. It's not bad at all. And as I said, we are going to have a look at a couple of replays. And we're going to show you the attributes of the tank. But we're also going to look at whether or not it's better or worse than what you can currently get with the pattern in Tier 10. The other thing you need to remember is this. When it comes to lock boxes, whilst you may get the certificates, you could end up spending a lot of gold or a lot of real-life cash to get a tank that only has a 3% drop chance. So be mindful of that. Some of you might be lucky, some of you may not. But keys and lock boxes are not the easiest way to do it. Believe that. Anyway, let's have a look at the M60 itself and let's talk about its overall gameplay. Jumping into a game here on Himmelsdorf in the M60, a couple of things you need to know about this tank. It's an American medium. It's not a heavy tank, it's a medium tank. And obviously it sits at tier 10. Now the thing is, there is a tech tree counterpart in the form of the M48 pattern. For all intensive purposes, they are the same tank. They've just got a different camo profile and different name. And a lot of people sort of look at me and say, oh, no, no, it's not like that at all. Well, let's have a look at it. The DPM on both tanks is exactly the same. The penetration, exactly the same. The rate of fire, exactly the same. The reload time, exactly the same. The calibre, the same. Shell velocity, the same. Dispersion, the same. Now, it does get a little bit different here. The aim time is worse on the M48 pattern. The aim time on the 48 pattern is 1.81. On the M60, it is 1.63. The depression, the gun depression, is also worse on the 48 pattern. The M60 has 10 degrees. The 48 pattern only has 8 and the elevation is also worse with the pattern only having 19 degrees compared to the m60 which has 20. so far there's nothing being set the world on fire here speed the pattern is also slower 48 kilometers an hour whereas the m60 here will do 50. this is nothing to write home about not just yet camo profile 15 percent when stationary in the m60 compared to 14 in the pattern moving 60 has 12 percent the pattern has 11. camo after shot exactly the same in real terms so you can see 
there is not much difference between the two. It's negligible, it's marginal, it's not massive. Biggest difference in realistic terms is the credit coefficient. No, it's not. I'm wrong. Credit coefficient, exactly the same, 81%. But you can enrich the M48 pattern, and if you enrich it, that jumps up to 129%. View range is the same. Admittedly, the M60 has 50 more hit points because it has uh, 1,900 hit points, although I've got the enhancements here bringing it up to 2,000, whereas the M48 pattern only has 1,850. 1,850, basically. Turret armor. Well, the M60's got a slightly tougher turret, Frontally, it's 194. Compare that to the M48 with its 187. The sides and the rear is exactly the same. The hull, however, well, the M60 has a weaker hull. It has 121 millimeters on the front. Now, the M48 pattern has 139. That's marginally better. Side on, well, the M60 has 89, whereas the pattern has 80. But on the rear, the M. 60 has less armor and the win rate is pretty much the same 55 percent in all in realistic terms but everything else the m48 is building it hands down so why ask yourself why would you need this tank plays like a pattern looks like a pattern acts like a pattern but that's up to you i mean you may be a tank collector you may want that premium tank in the tier so let's jump into another replay now we've done the overview and let's talk through it and let's see what the actual attributes for the tank are and why you should be thinking about getting it. Now, as I said in the opening replay, the M60 is actually a very nice tank. It's not bad. And if you've got the pattern and you play the pattern and you like your mediums, your sort of haul down turret up mediums, then you can't go wrong with this tank. However, I have to keep forewarning you, it's an old style tank. It's one of the older premiums in the game. Yes, it's at tier 10. Yes, it's a medium tank. Yeah, it's a beautiful tank to play, don't get me wrong. But, word to the wise, lock boxes are, well, you're gonna be gambling, guys. It's as simple as that. And you're gonna be gambling for a tank that you can already roll out in, in the form of the M48 pattern. As I say, the differences are negligible. It's a beautiful tank. As I keep saying, it really is a nice tank. I like the M60. You know, if you know how to play the darn thing, then it's a real beaut of a tank. You can get a lot of damage out of it. A friend of mine who I haven't seen for a long time in the game, the Ting Goes, once said to me that you should be able to easily churn out 3K in this thing per game. And if you know how to play it, that should be what you're looking at. And you know what? It wasn't too wrong because you can churn out approximately 3K in most games in this tank. It puts that, you know, but you can do that in the M48 pattern. And it, it, whilst it has the ability to put a lot of damage down, it whilst it has the ability to be a beautiful little tank, I'm still getting back to the fact that it's in a lockbox. I'm still getting back to the fact that you need a key and you don't know how many keys you're gonna need because there's only a 3% drop chance. Do you really therefore wanna drop your hard earned cash on a tank such as the M60, which is a, a beautiful tank, um, when you can get the M48 pattern for free, for gratis, for nothing, just grind. And that's the question you've got to ask yourself, guys. And I'm not trying to put you off. I'm not trying to say to you, don't do it. I'm not trying to say to you, listen to me. I am the wise word of all wisdom, because that's not the case at all. I clearly got the M60 in my garage. But here's the thing. I got the M60 for gratis when it first came out, which caused a lot of consternation back in the day. Uh, so be mindful of that. When this tank first came out, it was given free to i don't know how they how they worked it out but it was basically given free of charge this was not a tank that you had to sort of spend a lot of money on and now wargaming are basically rehashing this tank and earning a bit of cash at the same time now i don't begrudge them doing that why would i if they want to earn cash that's up to them and, you know it's us the players who, who obviously drop the cash to see if we should you know to buy the darn things it's not war games for that we do that but you've got to be mindful of this fact when it first came out it was free of charge now 
you've got to pay money to get lock boxes or you've got to drop gold to get keys. Your call. You won't be disappointed with the tank, I don't think, if you get it. Your, your wallet might be disappointed. I'm not saying it won't be. But the tank itself, well, you won't be disappointed. You can see here, I mean, it is a beautiful tank. We've already done 2.7k. It's one against the world. Can we take them all out? I don't know. I can't remember this replay, if I'm being honest with you. I played it a couple of weeks ago. Now it's two against one. Um, I think we do, actually. And this is what you can do with the tank. I mean, it is a beautiful tank. It's got a great gun. It's got a really good aim time. It's got pretty stonking turret armor. It's got pretty nice mobility. The gun is as accurate as you can want it to be. And now we're at over 4K. I'm liking the tank. I always had liked the tank. It's a fantastic tank to play. And if you like these type of mediums, then you know, you're gonna have a really good time in it. It's a beautiful little tank. And you know, we get the, uh, wow, that was a terrible shot. I just said the gun is accurate and I pull out a pant shot like that. But you can do games like this in the M60. And I like the M60 for this reason. However, I also like the M48 pattern for exactly the same reason. The 48 pattern will do exactly the same thing as what I'm doing here in this M60. And the pattern costs me nothing. And that was a terrible shot by me. Completely fluffed it, but don't worry, we'll get there in the end. So we end up taking five kills. We do over 4k damage. We get a Kolobin off. Yay! And, you know, the M60 will do things like that. It will make you sing. It will put a smile on your face and all that. We also block 1.4K in damage. It wasn't a mastery because you need a lot more than that. But the M60 is a good tank and you can have fun with it and you will enjoy it. Your call, cool, though. Your wallet will not love you for it. Anyway, I've been Fujit and that has been the M60. It's currently in the store, although it's in a lockbox and you've got to find those little keys to open the lockbox. By all means, let me know your thoughts on this. Do you enjoy the tank? Is it a nice tank? Do you like it? Have you got it? Will you drop the cash to get it? Because that's the important thing. Anyway, as I said, that's been the M60. I've been Fujit. Until the next time, guys, write all your comments below. Give us your thoughts. Stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking. Because at the end of the day, that really is what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.